Hey, hello everyone. Welcome back to the ATM Model channel. Today we will paint and chipping the M41 Walker Boondock. We will go from this to this to this and finally to this step. Well, alright. First of all, as normal, we will prime the model with the Mr. Surface of 1500 black and then uh, gray over the top to get black and white shadowing technique. Okay, I just go with two light coats of black on over the detail. There's, there's nothing really I have to be concerned here. Now, as we are waiting for the paint to dry, we will make the commander figure. There are three figures with a kit, and I realized I only need a commander, so maybe I will save the other two for a future video. Well, first of all, I cut the part out from the sprue. Using a sharp snipper, I cut out the exact plastic. The molding of this kit was made in 1975, so there is a lot of excess material that needs to be taken care of. And then after that, I will use the hobby knife to scratch out the seam line on the spur. Uh, just very lightly scratch, or otherwise, we will lose some details on the surface. And then I used the Tamiya Extra Thin Cement to join the arm to the body. Well, um, 
After gluing it on, there is a big gap between the arm and the joint and the armpit. But never mind, we will fix it with the semen. We will scrap the thin strip of plastic from the spur and then use the uh, the patching material. Just put the strip in the gap and then when they had contact with the semen, it will melt down and then it fill the gap. Very tedious process. Very, uh, you have to be very careful, but then after all, it's very rewarding. When I zoom in, as you can see clearly that with the, when the thin plastic strip, when the contact with the semen, this will melt down, and that's the material will fill in the gap for you. Uh, after this, the Tamiya semen is dry, uh, so we can prime this commander with uh, the surfaces black or just paint on over it because we will have another coat of gray. Now we will have the second prime color. With this coat, we will paint on the right panel detail of the model. We will leave a very soft black edge and pre shading. The important notes of the techniques. The important note for the technique is that we will paint from the top to mimic the real light shadow as light shine from above, and the area from the top will have bright color than the shadow area.
With this model, I want to try a new paint chipping method. I will paint the whole model with the red brown color and then paint the oil drop color on top. So when I chip the oil drop color out, the red brown underneath will come up to stimulate the rusting effect. Now as we are waiting for the paint to dry, we will paint the road wheel and the commander in oil drop. The color code is H78. There is just a base coat for the commander, so we also paint it light when we are doing the prime coat. We will paint it from the top to get the overall color, and then we will highlight and get the detail with paint uh, with the hand brush later. So somehow, when transferring the video footage of the painting, the vehicle main color the oil drop. Uh, my file is corrupted and cannot be used. So I took another video showing the process of using the Mic Armor Scratch effect, effect chipping fluid. After the base coat of red brown is dry, I spray a wet coat chipping fluid and wait for it to dry. Then I paint the main color only drop on top of the fluid and then after this coat is dry too, I use water and a brush to chip out the paint, revealing the red brown color underneath. It would look like uh, it's, it get rust under there. Technically, this is the same with the hairbrain chipping, but in my opinion, the chipping fluke pattern is more random and is easier to control with water. Well, I, I wait a little too long for the pen to dry, so it's quite tough. Uh, so I use a sharp point of the tweezer to open up some holes for the water to activate the chipping fluid and then it is, uh, get faster. So when zoom in, you can clearly see that the fluid is starting to chip out the top coat of pen. <clears throat> Using the sharp point, uh, you can add more scratches. Or you can control the area where it will be chipped more heavy.
So after trying the technique, I can see that there's a little too much on this model. So I just paint another coat of oily drop paste color on top to reduce the rust. Um, I was surprised with the decal quality. After over 45 years, 46 years, the water decal is still intact and actually it slides easily with just tap water. Um, well, for safety, I use a little bit of Mr. Hobby Mark Softer to bond the decal to the surface of the model kit. Now, with all the painting is done, I use the GX114 Super Smooth to seal in everything uh, preparing for the weathering process. Uh, one note for you guys when you top coat with the GX series, um, you have to be careful with the humidity because if the humidity in the air is too much, it can lead to frosting and it would take a long process to fix that so you choose a dry and uh, sunny and dry day to do it so this will be smooth and good so thank you very much for watching like and subscribe if you see this video is helpful. 
See you again in the next video we are throwing.